on um, on Zoom so that I can record the video and and, um, ooh, and basically, you know, have it so that um, it's it's downloaded in a very very high uh, resolution. So I'm just going to wait for everyone to jump on the call. Um, just got to make sure that the the video is actually um, for the public, not just for my thingy. And then I'm going to share it now in the event is happening group. Um, yep. So hopefully a few people are going to join me on the live. And I'm not going to get distracted um, checking other messages. So, um, yes. Happy Sunday, everybody. It's a heat wave in, in England. We've actually got sunshine and um, it feels really, really beautiful. It feels really healing because England is such a beautiful country. Like, except for the weather, it's it's a beautiful, exquisite country. Like the land is, is heavenly. The hills, the rolling hills, all the beautiful trees. It's um it's utterly exquisite. It's like there's there's no place more beautiful than England, you know, in the sunshine. Um, we just have to wait quite a long time, obviously, for the sunshine to come. So yeah, we've got a beautiful heat wave now, and um, so that's all very, very good. Now, the reason why I'm making this video is because I want to share with you all that tomorrow I'm going to be launching a five day free challenge. And the challenge is to teach you the foundations of self love. Uh, and with self love, we're going to be talking about your self concept, because you can be repeating all the affirmations in the world. But if you hold a belief about your yourself in your unconscious and you believe that you are unlucky you believe that good things don't happen to you you believe that you are worthy of being abandoned rejected all that then all of the affirmations visualizations scriptings it, it's not going to work so when you study the teachings of the amazing amazing teacher neville goddard you will realize that so much of manifestation is connected to the self-concept. So I'm actually going to be doing a free masterclass teaching you about, about self-concept. This is next level, guys. Absolutely next level. Like no one is doing this. So this is all about self-love as the foundation for um, master manifestation to, to become a master manifester. And um, like, I have been sharing, but not in great detail, that I've actually just come through another really, really powerful um, upgrade. And I've been doing a lot of things recently. There's been a lot of shifts going on in my consciousness recently. And this has all led to me going through some sort of like barrier or um, some reaching a new threshold with my remembrance of who I truly, truly am as, as a creator being, as God's daughter. And so it's really, really amazing what is going on for me. And I want to be able to share and pass on these codes of remembrance with my community. And I want us to all come together to, to crack the code of, of remembrance. Because in order for us to um, be the master manifestors that we truly, truly are, we have, to, we have to remember who we are. We have to remember the true structure of the universe, of how the universe is actually structured. And this is what has been um hidden from us and this is what the agenda has been like the agenda has been to keep humanity distracted keep them watching stupid things on tv keep them shopping keep them obsessed with the superficial keep them worried and traumatized through the news all, all of this is an agenda because <clears throat> the the old controllers know who we are we are infinitely powerful creators and so they don't want, I don't know why, why, I don't know. It's just, it's just the dance of 
of awakening, of collective awakening, you know, when we came out of Atlantis, we went fully, fully, fully into the darkness, into the age of darkness. And we have experienced an, an incredible attack on humanity's consciousness. And the way that this is actualized is by them trying to distract us. They're trying to say, oh, don't, don't, don't go within, don't go within, don't read the Bible, don't, like, you can read the Bible, but don't really understand what the Bible is saying, because the Bible is loaded with spiritual truth, but, the, the, you know, people are interpreting the, the Bible literally, the Bible's not a literal document, the Bible is a metaphysical um, Bible, it's a, it's a metaphysical masterclass, you know, and it's all there, and it's teaching us about who we really, really, truly are and what is actually going on in this universe. So the old controllers have wanted us to um, not go within, not to access our consciousness, not to heal our trauma. They've wanted to keep us in, in this traumatic loop so that we don't understand what is contained within, within this area. This is the temple of God, guys. This is the temple of Solomon. And this is heaven, H-E-A-V-E-N, H-E-A-D, heaven and head heaved up is, is where this is all happening. Like this is the, this is kind of like the, the laboratory, the spiritual creative laboratory that we have all been given and we all have access to, to be a master manifester. So I just want to see if anyone's actually on the call. Oh, please say hello when you get here, guys. That would be amazing. Who, who's here? Let's uh, let's share this video. I'm going to share it to a page, to show it to the Wealth Mastermind page. Oh, my God, no, I don't want to switch. Um, we're going to share it to... Hi, Ingrid, darling. Yeah, let's share this video. Um, we'll share it to that group. So yeah, if you're if you're resonating with these words, like please let's interact, let's keep this going because the more comments, the more engaged, the more people will get to see this message. I want to share with you all my community, like my recent upgrade, and it's so freaking amazing. Like it really, really is. Like I've gone to a brand new level. I was already at quite a high level, but I've gone to like a next level um, understanding about the nature of consciousness. So I'm hosting this masterclass tomorrow. It's going to be a five day challenge. I'm going to teach you. I'm going to give you the skills to be able to really, truly remember who you are, to understand and crack the code of self-love, to tweak your self-concept so that it's absolutely on point. And, and then I'm going to give you practices so that you can seal your self-concept. It's not just kind of like coming in and then going out. It's actually going to stamp it into the, the moment of now, you know, with God's stamp, God's seal. Um, and then from that place, we are going to we're going to talk about our unconscious. We're going to talk about um, how our unconscious is is communicating to us. It's very exciting. I'm, I'm almost like wanting to share with you the, the masterclass, but I'm not going to. You've got to just come and sign up and, and be part of it. So it's a five day masterclass. It starts at 6 p.m. tomorrow. It's going to run. Um, it might change time slightly each day, but certainly... Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, it's going to be run at 6 p.m. Um, UK time. And yeah, it's going to be amazing. I'm working with Samesh. Samesh has made me an amazing landing page. Um, there's also an opportunity to do a VIP upgrade where you get recordings of all the, um, the classes and you get loads and loads of amazing, amazing things like hundreds and hundreds of pounds worth of uh, free content for uh, the VIP upgrade. And there's only a limited number of those places. Also with the VIP upgrade, there's a chance to actually stay on the call with me after the live, um, after the live masterclass and actually ask me questions. So that's gonna be really exciting. So you've got to remember, I just read this quote. So I've been, I've been looking up about um, Bible quotes to do with faith because faith is, faith is everything. Faith is, faith is absolutely everything in creation. And, um, I was going to say so yeah faith is absolutely so I've been oh and I and I came across this quote and it said iron sharpens iron and and that means is that when you are in the presence and the vibration of an awakened being that just sharpens you that just awakens you so that you can receive that code and that truth and then you can then 
be that really, really fully stabilized awakened person. And then you can then awaken others like this is how it works. It's also like a tuning fork, like we're all tuning forks. And as I'm holding this particular vibration um, of, of spiritual mastery, as people come into that field, they also get the chance to attune to that sensation because we're all one, like we're all God, like we're all fractals of God. We are not in God, we're not God in quantity, but we're God in quality. We all hold the entire universe within our subconscious mind. So anyway, I've, I've been really bringing through a lot of really powerful quotes since I've had this upgrade. And I just wanted to share some of these quotes with you. Okay, so one of them is, how do you claim something to be yours from the spiritual realms? Okay, so the question is, how do you claim something to be yours from the spiritual realm? So, so say, for example, you want something, just the fact that you want something means that it, it's yours. OK, so it exists in the spiritual realms. Otherwise, you wouldn't have wanted it. You would not want it. It would not have registered in your consciousness to have that desire. But the fact that you desire it means that there's a cord that is attached to your consciousness in the quantum field and, and, it, and it's claimed it. And your desire exists in the spiritual realms. So the question is, how do we bring that which is in the spiritual realms into the material realm? This is the question, isn't it? So this is what this is what I was. This is what I I wrote yesterday. First of all, you you know that you wouldn't want it if it wasn't yours. So know that that's the first step. Understand that it is not arbitrary. It is not random. Your desires are not random. They are specifically encoded in your spiritual destiny. And we ignore the desires of our heart at our spiritual peril. So the first step is you, you, you know that you wouldn't want it if it wasn't yours. So it's yours. It's yours. Just because it hasn't come into the earthly realm yet, you own it. It is yours. So that's the first step is that you know it's yours. The second step, uh, one, you know that you wouldn't want it. Two, you claim it as your own. So the next thing is once you realize, okay, so say, for example, you want to manifest a, a red sports car. Let's just go to totally, totally superficial. We want to manifest a red sports car. Okay. So if you have a desire for a red sports car, that's because you've made a sole contract in your pre-birth state to own this red sports car. Otherwise, you'd want a blue sports car. Otherwise, you'd want an Audi. You, but no, specifically, you want a red sports car. So the first thing is, you know, if, if it didn't, ex if, if it wasn't mine, I wouldn't want it. So the fact that I want it shows that, that there's a cord, a psychic cord that is connected to that red sports car. Okay. Step two is then you've got to claim it. I, I, that, that red sports car is mine. Wow. I own a red sports car. Wow. Gosh, it feels amazing. Oh, I'm going to, and then, and then you, you, you drop that code in your consciousness. I own it. It's mine. And then you start training your mind to think from that place. Oh, wow. Now I've got this red sports car. Oh, I could go for a really nice long drive along the Brighton seafront. Oh, I could, I could, drop, I could go and pick up my best friend. We could go for a nice lunch in that beautiful pub. And then we could go for an amazing drive, play our favorite music. And uh, yes, yes, let, let, I'm going to do that. And so you start claiming it and and you start thinking from the place that it's that it's yours. OK, two. So three, then you act as if it's already yours. And so you, you so, so you've got to clear a place on your drive. You, you've got to make sure that there's a place on your drive or you've got to make sure that there's, you know, a place for you to park the car. You um, you think of other ways. Be creative. Act, act as though it's already yours. OK. Can't give it all away because this is the masterclass, guys. Um, make plans. So four, make plans as though it's rapidly coming into your life. Yeah, so make plans. Go, oh, wow, now I've got this amazing sports car. I'm going to drive to France. I'm going to go. I'm going to have a nice baguette. I'm going to have some French cheese. I'm going to um, have a, maybe have a croissant or two. But me and my beautiful red sports car, we're going to hit uh, Brittany because Brittany is very close to where I am. Jump over the, over the boat and you're in Brittany. Do you know what I mean, guys? So this is what we're going to be talking about. 
Is anyone feeling what I'm saying here? Is anyone feeling what I'm saying? Now, hold on a minute. Let me see if I, okay. Okay. Guys, let's have a little bit of interaction. This is absolutely next level information that is coming through. Um, who's feeling this? Who is excited about the masterclass? Like, so this is what we're, we're going to be going into. And it's not, we're not just doing this because we want to manifest a red sports car for the love of God. We're doing this for us to crack the code of who we are on a spiritual level and to understand what the Bible is saying. I've never been a fan of the Bible because I wasn't old enough. I wasn't mature enough spiritually to understand the Bible. Now that I've reached this level, I'm like, holy macaroni, it's next level. It's telling us everything, you know? And so the whole point is for you to just stop worrying, for you to just relax and know who you are. Like through your human imagination, you have access to the entire kingdom of the spiritual realms, there's nothing that you cannot actualize. And it is faith which speeds up the manifestation process, you see? So it, it's a bit like um, it's a bit like a mold. I talk about this in my book, uh, Manifestation Mastery. And um, and I talk about manifestations a bit like so, so all right, let's go back to the red sports car. Uh, manifestation so I want to manifest this red, red sports car so I claim it I know it's mine and that moment when I lock it in and own it on the spiritual planes what I'm doing is I'm getting a mold like a mold like um like you know like a uh, a jewelry maker they work with molds and so we're putting our manifestation in a mold okay and it's a bit like when you're making silver jewellery, when you put the ring inside the mould, it's liquid, but you have to you have to give it the right temperature and the right circumstances, and then the mould sets. So the when it sets, that is the symbol of the fact that the manifestation has actualized on the human earthly plane. But what happens is we we have a we have an idea. I want to manifest this. OK, I claim it. It's mine. I put it in a mold and then you have a conversation with someone and they say, why do you want to manifest a, a red sports car? That's that's so superficial. You can't manifest that. Just get yourself an old banger. And then if you believe what that person says, you are taking the mold and you are collapsing it. And then all of the liquid is just spilling out again. So. This is really next level information, guys. And so what we need to do is like when you want something, you've got to honor that, honor that, and then know that it's yours. And that moment when you claim it, that's when you seal the mold. And the mold now, it, it's doing its thing. It's getting solid. It's get it's it's coming together. It's getting solid. And, and that's where faith comes in. You have to keep the faith at that point to go oh yeah I know it's coming oh I'm preparing for it oh yeah it's coming speaking as though it's already here no it's yours and then the mold forms it doesn't stay in its liquid form but but 99% of the time because we've all been so traumatized because because we've all been so targeted we we doubt and also because we've been so distracted so distracted to to, to manifest do you know what I mean so you have to stay focused, but, you, but you've also like got to enjoy the process. Like this is not something to get worried about. This is not something to stress out about. This is just something purely to keep you entertained, to enjoy, to enjoy basking in the vibration of trust, you see? And that's why we are learning to become master manifestors because we're learning the vibrational set point for us to meet reality with and, and we are learning to meet reality in faith we are learning to meet reality in trust you see and when we are in that vibration we sail smoothly towards the actualization of our heart's desires there are so many metaphors that explain about faith in journey to union I talk a lot about about faith being like a boat 
And so you have a desire, go back to the red sports car. I want to have my red sports car. This is mine. It already exists in the quantum field. Um, I own it. I claim it. It's mine. And then, and then your, your higher self is like, yeah, yeah, we're going to get this. We're going to somehow we're going to get this red sports car. It could be that your neighbor's like, oh, I've got this red sports car that I don't really want. I'm just going to give it to you. Who knows how, but we're, we're then when we've claimed it, we're then on a boat and the boat is taking us towards the actualization of our heart's desires, i.e. the red sports car. But if you come along and think to yourself, oh God, I've never, I've never been very good at manifesting. I'm such an unlucky person. Why is that person so good at manifesting? And I'm, I'm really rubbish. When you have those thoughts, this is like popping a massive hole in the boat. And what happens when we put a hole in the boat? The boat starts sinking. The boat stops moving. The boat becomes overwhelmed with water and, and the water is doubt, you see? And so this is what it's all about, guys. It's amazing, isn't it? Wow, just want a healthy body, brain connecting with gut and intuition so I can do better, no fibro. Well, you've got it, you've got it, Melanie, because that perfect you already exists in the higher spiritual realms, you know? And so you have to claim it, sweetheart. Like, let's just go through, let's just look at some of these quotes in the Bible. Okay. Hold on a minute. Let me see if I can go back. Right, here we go. And by faith, even Sarah, who was past childbearing age, was enabled to bear children because she considered him faithful who made the promise. Hebrews 11.11. 11. Let's read that again. And by faith, even Sarah, who was past childbearing age, was enabled to bear children because she considered him faithful who made the promise. Meditate on that, guys. Hebrews 11.11. 11. So for, Sir, for, for, for Melanie, who is, um, you know, having bodily issues at the moment, you know, go back to the Bible, Sarah in the Bible, she was probably about 60 years of age and probably her period had stopped. Who knows what happened? And, you know, she, she, she was like, well, according to the law of the material realms, I, I can't have a baby. That, that was what her thought said. But then she had that meeting with Jesus. Jesus was like, you can, yeah, it's already yours. If you want a baby, it's yours. And then she believed Jesus. She believed him because, you know, Jesus knows what he's going on about. And then, of course, she she manifested that. So you can apply that to your own situation. Everything that you want already exists in the perfect spiritual realms. Remember, this is the illusion. This is Maya. The spiritual realms is the true reality. This is why the Hindus call the material realm the Maya. The Maya is the illusion, guys. This is the illusion. So why are you basing your what, what you consider to be true on the illusion? This is not the true realm. The true realm is the spiritual realms. And every single thing that you desire, you are connected to that. Okay. Simona says, I want a flat in London, could have had it, but decided instead to buy a house in Glastonbury. Now, now I regret this decision. I want the flat in London again. How is this called? I don't know. Um, yeah, so if anyone's got anything else to share, like, please, please feel free to share. So what else? Right, let's find another quote. I, I've, I've been making some of these quotes on Canva. In the same way, faith by itself, if it is not accompanied by action, is dead. So what this is saying is that, all right, so say, for example, back to the red sports car, I, I want to manifest this red sports car, I claim it, I know it's mine, but if I just sit on my bum, waiting for it to knock on my door, it's never going to happen, like, I do have to take action, like, the universe, once you have petitioned the universe via your human imagination to actualize your heart's desire, every single thing in creation is transforming in, in molecular structure to bring you your heart's desire, okay? So the universe is taking a thousand steps towards you once you put out your intention to the universe, but you can't just be sitting there in, in, in action, do you know what I mean? You have to do something. You have to go online and think, oh, you know, have a little look or or maybe or speak to your friend. Tell them, oh, I want to really, I know I'm going to manifest this red sports car because probably that first friend that you speak to, she'll be like, oh, wow, gosh, it's so coincidence that, that you said that. 
my dad has got this red sports car. He doesn't want it anymore because he hasn't got any space in his garage because he's just bought a brand new Aston Martin. And he was what he, he said to me yesterday, is there any of your friends that want a red sports car? And you're like, oh my God, but you have to take action. You can't just sit there doing nothing, you know, or maybe you have to go and go and buy a magazine or who knows, you have to take inspired action. And this is a very, very important part of, of acting in faith. You're acting in faith. You're knowing that it's coming towards you. And then you're taking divinely inspired actions. So say, for example, you let's go back to Melanie's example. She wants to heal her fibromyalgia. She knows that in the perfect spiritual realms, her perfect body exists where she's healthy and she's in a really, really, really good place physically. So she does the work. She understands, well, if I didn't want it, if I want it, it means it exists. Otherwise, I wouldn't want it simple as okay so the fact that i want it shows that it exists in the perfect spiritual realms wow it exists in the spiritual realms which are the true realms i'm claiming it it's mine okay she claims it as hers and then she has to take action so she might be flicking on facebook and it'll be like oh wow there's this um amazing healer in mexico who is uh has shared this herb this oil that really, really heals muscle pain. She's taking action. She's, and then she clicks the link and then she says, oh, maybe I want to chat to this person or maybe I want to buy this product. Or, <clears throat> or she thinks to herself, well, right, well, you know, I've claimed it from the spiritual realms. Now I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to go and have some treatments. I'm going to go and have some Reiki. I'm going to go and have some acupuncture. But this time when she goes and has those treatments, she, she has her unconscious on board with her <coughs> because she knows that she's already manifested that truth. And so she'll have that acupuncture, whereas before that person would have stuck all those needles in her skin or whatever, but her unconscious belief would be like, oh God, I just can't heal this fibro. I'm just, you know, I've, I've had it for so many years. Like I've been to thousands of healers and no one's helped me. So she's bringing that pattern from her unconscious to the treatment. But now she's had this awakening remembrance and revelation she, she'll go she'll book to have a session with a with a you know an acupuncturist an acupuncturist it will be a next level acupuncturist proper angel from from heaven they'll come along they'll put needles in places where needles have never ever been put before they might do some light language some some spells some incantations to pull out anything that's keeping that fibromyalgia there and then maybe that person, Melanie, will go, oh, it was that that healed me, forgetting that it was actually when she petitioned her unconscious through claiming from the perfect spiritual realms what's hers. So I'm giving a lot away, guys, but this is what we're going to be talking about in the five-day masterclass. And it's all very well hearing it once, but we have to program our mind. We have to keep programming um, with the truth because we've all been like fed so much illusion so just to see some of your um your comments pm me i know a good healer if you're interested see there we go okay anything else guys i don't think i can see all your messages um so ingrid says being around non-believers non-believ influences my frequency of belief how do i make that stronger great question ingrid please bring that to the um masterclass tomorrow so yeah, there's a, hey, 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 Samesh, how are you? So yeah, we've just been going into great depth about um, the teachings that I'm going to be sharing in this five-day masterclass, and it's going to be absolutely amazing. So it's very, very important that we understand that we are reprogramming ourselves with the divine truth. We are stepping fully out of illusion, the Maya, and we are placing ourselves on the path of eternal spiritual remembrance. And this is like a, not a one one time thing this is like we have to program ourselves we have to get these programs locked into our unconscious field so that our unconscious absorbs them as their truth and runs with it you, you, your unconscious has got to run with it guys you can't just be like oh yeah yeah, mm, Jen, yeah I think what Jen was saying yeah I kind of resonate with that that's not going to cut it 
that's not going to cut it guys you have to come and experience the stamping the, the the repetition of of the truth you know and this is not my truth this is universal truth that is depicted in all the sacred scripture the, the bible is absolutely riddled with um quotes about faith and it is it's giving away everything it's telling us everything about the true nature of reality so that's my video guys please share it um it's really really important that we get this get this conversation out we're all going through a massive upgrade we are we've just come out of the 66 portal we're going into the solstice energies so obviously the solstice is arguably the most powerful time in our ecliptic cycle as the sun has come from the, the the goat of the capricorn it has climbed up the ecliptic wheel and it is about to reach the top of the ecliptic wheel in the tropic of cancer and in that moment the sun the, the it, it's it reaches its culmination point of light and then it begins to go down the ecliptic wheel again. So this is a very, very auspicious moment where polarity and duality merge. So this is so powerful. And also it's to do with the sun, like the sun is in such a auspicious place within the galactic kind of like spheres. And, um, and that's why the sun is the soul in Spanish. It's called the soul because the sun is mirroring our soul. So as the sun is growing in intensity, so is our soul. So it is our ascension. So is our DNA being, um, is receiving these amazing codes. So yeah, very, very powerful energies that we're working with. And that's why I'm so delighted that I'm hosting this masterclass in this gateway just before the solstice. So come along, come and receive these amazing teachings. They're going to help you so much. They're, in fact, they're going to give you the opportunity to really, really step into spiritual mastery in a way that you possibly haven't ever done before so that you can become anchored in your faith. And that is the key now. As many of us as possible need to be anchored in our faith. So this is my message. Please um, share the video. I'm so grateful to all of you for being on this call. This has been an amazing live. We're going to get five days of this Darshan starting tomorrow at 6 p.m. UK time. So we're going to send out this video. We're going to upload it to um, I'm going to load it to all my platforms, and I'm going to send out this video to my subscription list. And um, yeah, so there we go, beloveds. It, it's been amazing. Any more, any more messages? Um, so I just want to say to Simona, darling, if you want to manifest your flat in London, it's already yours. Otherwise you wouldn't want it. Like who wants to live in London? Not many people want to live in London, but you want to live in London. So surely there is a cord that is connecting you to that destiny. Do you know what I mean? Otherwise, why don't you want to live in Essex? Why don't you want to live in Spain? No, you very specifically want to live in London. That is enough information for you to know that it's already yours okay well just so um okay guys so that's it so i love you all and i can't wait to be with you all tomorrow please share this video so that we can share it with your wider community the fact that this free five-day challenge is going to be happening so namaste everyone god bless us all we have got this full power i love you all so much Mwah.